is Adventure Ruler. I see you are curious about a Zelda level of mine in Mario Maker 2. This is Link's second adventure in my Zelda level lineup. So the inspiration for this stage actually came from my first Link level. When I would spectate my boys playing through Rock Temple, they always had a bit of a challenge passing through the third room. My view of Link jumping from platform to platform that is sitting on a body of water, I found interesting. I thought, what if I base my entire level in a setting that is all above a deadly pool of water, which is how I thought of Ocean Temple. As usual, the level entrance to the level is a breakable wall that could be destroyed by bombs. The next puzzle is, is the start of tests for your archery skills. With a switch, nudge tightly between a wall that you have to jump to aim and shoot through to open the door. You jump over, enter the door, bomb the last entrance to reach the meat of the dungeon. Puzzles that Link must solve to reach the goal, and it all takes place on plants on top of the ocean surface. The sea below is deadly, but I will explain why later. Link must switch between his arrows and his bombs for each puzzle on each platform. So, funny story. One day, my older brother FaceTimed me, and he was chilling at home, sending streamers on Twitch his Mario Maker level codes, and watching them play his maps. He said I should try it sometime. So I looked up the streamer my brother was watching at the time, and I submitted my level I'm talking to you about today, Ocean Temple. The Twitch guy complimented my level as he was playing through it and having fun solving the puzzles until he reached the bounce house. I call this puzzle with the note blocks the bounce house because it's shaped like a house and the only spots to walk without bouncing into danger is right underneath the spikes. You need to jump off the high note and throw a bomb on top of the silver urchin. After you bomb the switch, do that again, but instead of constantly bouncing waiting for your bomb to blow up, stand on the platform underneath the spikes. Hold right as you wait for the switch to activate and you will slip right through. The streamer just couldn't get it. Every time he entered the bounce house, he couldn't control his jumps properly and would hit his head on the spike and have to restart the whole level. Did I mention that my Zelda levels can only be completed if you touch the flagpole unscathed? The streamer failed at it so many times that even my brother was getting fed up, and we were only the spectators. He eventually beat it though, but to beat it, you will need to get past the boss, which is down below. The ocean. The dead bones deep are the undead fish from Mario awaiting your arrival, but there's hundreds of them. Once you unlock the boss room, you need to dodge and dive around them to reach the exit. Luckily, Link can use his sword underwater, so make sure to eliminate any that cross your path. Thank you so much for watching the showcase. If you would like to try out the level for yourself, the ID, my Twitter, my Discord, and are all in the description down below. <laughs> Thanks for watching.